everyone. Um, it's Flo and we're back again for another little chair yoga class today. Um, and today we're going to be thinking about our spine, so thinking about keeping our spinal mobility really lovely, um, especially when we're sat around a little bit more and just generally anyway as we kind of like go through life. Um, our spine often becomes a lot more stiff because we don't necessarily use it as much as we used to. Um, we don't use it in all the ways it can move. And, and our spine is incredible because if you think about it, we can literally forward fold, we can back bend, we can twist from side to side, we can stretch from side to side. There's so much range of motion in our spine. Um, and it's important to keep that range of motion because that's how our spine is going to stay lovely and healthy for as long as humanly possible. So we're going to therefore be doing really lovely, simple um, spine, spinal movements, obviously as well incorporating some of the other parts of the body, not just focusing on the spine for half an hour. Um, but we're just going to be getting that spine moving, getting our backs lovely and kind of released hopefully as well. So let us begin. We will find ourselves a chair that as always works for you, whatever is available really. We just want to make sure probably today, actually no, no, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter if you've got an armchair or, you know, no armchair, armrests. Either is fine. Um, we just want to make sure that ideally we can get those feet flat on the floor. And as always, if we can't, what we're going to do is we're just going to bring some books or blocks and place them underneath the feet just to give that elevation and that so the feet remain flat on some form of surface. As always, if you are using books or anything like that, we're just making sure that the books aren't completely different heights or sizes because otherwise we're going to be very wonky and that won't be good for the spine either. <laughs> so try and find a flat surface for your feet to rest on. Um, I'll just move my chair back slightly. Um, and we're just creating our space here. Um, but to start, we're going to sit and relax back in our chairs before we move forward. So find yourself somewhere comfy to sit in. Sit in. We're going to close those eyes down or we're just going to lower the gaze to the floor. The choice here is yours. We're just going to start breathing deeply into the belly, into the ribs, and into the chest. Softening the shoulders, softening the jaw, softening the space between the eyes. Breathing into the belly, into the ribs, into the chest. Keep softening the shoulders, softening the jaw, softening the space between the eyes. I'm just going to take the time to check in, first of all, with how we're doing today. How are we doing? Any emotions that are cropping up? Any thoughts? How are we feeling? And just knowing that we're allowed to feel however we need to feel right now. There is no right or wrong. It's just important to give ourselves space to feel how we need to feel. Allow yourself to have emotions. Allow yourself to explore them. Allow yourself to talk about them. to bring your awareness to how your body is feeling today. Is it feeling quite stiff or sore? Are there any areas of pain or discomfort? Is there anywhere that you're holding maybe a little bit tense or tight? And to breathe into those areas, give them space. Again, allow yourself to create space for them. 
and also acknowledge those areas knowing that you may need to give them a little bit more support in this class or you may need to modify or take things a little bit slower if you need to and that's again completely okay. And then we're just going to check in with our spine. How is our back doing? Are the shoulders feeling achy? Are the shoulders feeling lovely and loose? Feel as though a weight's been lifted. Is that lower back a little bit sore? Again, notice where your spine's at. Maybe it's feeling great, maybe it's feeling not so great. And again, neither is right or wrong. We're just noticing where we're at right now. And then again, come back to the breath. Coming back to our inhale, our exhale. Keeping your breathing into the belly, into the ribs, into the chest. Softening the shoulders, the jaw, the space between the eyes. We'll just take three deep sighs. So inhale through the nose. Sighing it all out. And again. Once more. Bringing that breath back to the nose. Bring those hands together in front of the heart in a prayer position. We're going to need to rub those hands together, just generating a lovely bit of heat here. And then placing those palms over the closed eyes. And just taking a deep breath into the eyes, into the palms. Massaging those eyes gently. Opening the eyes behind the palms, rotating the eyes clockwise and anti-clockwise. Releasing the hands back down to heart centre. Take a last deep breath. Namaste everyone. going to get ourselves moving so we're going to start with that top of the spine that neck that um yeah that neck so when we're ready we're going to slowly inhale we're going to lengthen up through the spine and this is at the point if your feet are hovering above the floor we may want to start to shuffle ourselves forward and plant the feet firm onto our blocks books floor wherever it is they reach to hands are on the lap lengthen up through the spine and then when you're ready exhale drop that chin down to the chest and we're just going to take a deep breath in. And then we're going to start some very gentle rolls up the collarbone. So we're not taking a full circle. We're just going to inhale, roll that head up to the left hand side, up the left collarbone. And exhale, roll it back down to centre. And then inhale, roll it up the right collarbone. Exhale, roll it back to centre. And just keeping that going. Inhale, roll up. Exhale, roll down. Make these as big or as small as you need. Slow or as fast as your breath allows. And then we're going to start to make bigger and bigger kind of lifts until maybe we take a full circle round inhaling rolling all the way around exhale lower down and then opposite way inhale roll up exhale roll it down in a circle just keeping that going swapping direction each time inhale exhale inhale Exhale. 
One more, inhale. Exhale. Inhale, lifting that head back up to centre. We're just going to start then to move down onto the shoulders. So we're going to start just to roll the shoulders round. And bigger or small circles again here as you need. Slower is fast. And keep creating that space. Lovely one for opening up the chest, creating space in the front of the body, as well as also taking a bit of a stretch between the shoulder blades. And then we're going to swap that direction, finding that movement the other way. And lovely deep breaths. Nice, guys. Keep that going. One more loop. And then releasing those shoulders down. We'll just bring the hands slide that onto the tops of the knees or the fingertips can hook over the kneecaps. And then we're going to take a nice and seated cat cow. So when you're ready, we're going to exhale round the spine back towards the chair, tuck the chin to the chest. And then inhale, drawing it forward, lift the chest, lift the gaze, gentle back bend. And then again, exhale round. Inhale, lift. Exhale round. Inhale, lift. One more. Exhale round. Inhale, lift. Exhale round back. Take a breath here. And then inhale, lifting ourselves all the way back up straight. And we're just going to prepare ourselves a little twist here from side to side. So this is where if you've got armrests, you're welcome to use the armrest as a little bit of a support and a kind of pulley system, or we're just gonna use our thigh. So we're gonna take, first of all, our left hand just to the chair behind us. And you can either hold on to the seat of the chair, or you can even, if the arm back of the chair is low enough, you can bring the hand up to the back of the chair. So again, work with you. We're gonna then take that left hand to the right leg. And we're just going to start twisting ourselves around. Nice deep breaths. And we're trying not to lean forward, we're trying to keep a nice line through the spine. We're going to take one more breath. And then inhale, drawing back to centre, and we'll come to the opposite side. So this time our left hand is coming to the back of the chair, our right hand is coming to the outside of the thigh. Or again, you're welcome to use your armrest. We're just going to start to twist ourselves around again here, breathing. Inhaling, exhaling. And then inhale, draw all the way back around to centre. And we're just going to take now a little circle round with the spine. So literally, start circling round with the spine. Sorry, I got a yawn there. So we're going to start circling round with the spine. And you can make kind of little arches and loops with the spine, but Get into wherever feels nice for you. Just have a circle round. And then we're going to come the other way. We're going to circle the other way. Finding our loop. Nice deep breaths. Perfect. One more circle. And then slowly come all the way back up to centre. And then we're going to inhale. We're going to keep our right hand on our right thigh and we're just going to stretch up with our left hand. Again, this is where if you've got an armrest, you can instead lean your right hand on the armrest if you prefer. And we're just going to take a gentle stretch over. Nice big breaths, holding for two more breaths. And then inhale, lifting all the way up, planting that left hand onto the left thigh. Start to stretch the right arm up into the air and then gradually leaning it over. And again, lovely deep breaths. One more inhale and exhale. And then inhale, lifting all the way up and that hand is coming back down onto the thigh. We're going to take a little variation now of a back bend or of a cobra. Um, so we're going to take the hands behind us and it's up to you again here. I'm just going to turn my chair on the side just so you can see where my hands are. So, obviously again, this depends on the chair you have. So if you have a chair similar to mine, what we're going to be doing is we're going to take the hands to rack around the back of the chair. 
if this obviously is impossible and you're sat in an armchair, that's absolutely fine. What I want you to do instead is just hook your fingers down kind of the back of the cushion and instead hold here. And what we're then going to do is we're just going to slowly lift and arch the spine and lift the gaze. So lifting through the chest, so kind of pull forward, use the hands to pull back, use the chest to lean forward. We're just going to take a breath. And then slowly coming all the way back down. I'll turn my chair just back to face you. And then we're going to come into some nice forward folds just to even out um, that, that back bend. So we want to take, we're going to take um, our forward fold straight away and then we'll come to alternate legs just to target a bit of a different part of the spine. So what we're going to do is we're just going to slowly, again, feet are kind of nice and firm on the floor. We're going to inhale, lengthen up. And then exhale, slowly start to slide the hands down the legs. And you may come just to rest here on the forearms. That may feel like more than enough of a stretch and more than enough for you. Or you may start to lower it down onto the belly and start to hang loose here, relaxing the neck, relaxing the arms. And we're just going to hold wherever we are, just for another three deep breaths. One more inhale and exhale. And then very gradually, just starting to slide our hands all the way back up. Take it nice and slow, lift ourselves back up. Take a breath. And then, oh, head everywhere all over the place. And then we're going to take a little sway from side to side. So you're just going to slowly sway side to side, have a little jig here. Feel free to add in any movement you want, but again, just get your spine moving. Keep going with those deep breaths. And then we're going to come to essentially one leg extended out. So first of all, we're just going to extend our left leg out. Right foot stays firm on the floor. But first of all, we're just going to rotate the ankle around slightly. So we're just going to rotate the ankle. The heel can remain on the floor if you need support, or we can lift the foot into the air slightly and just rotate here. So you're rotating one way, and then we're going to rotate the other way. And we're finding again that nice movement just to help those joints help keep everything moving. Nice deep breath still. And then we're just going to release that heel back down onto the floor, onto our bunk, onto our block, whatever it is. We're going to try and keep that the toes lifted so it's just the heel so again we kind of activate slightly here through the calf through the leg and then we're going to be leaning down and stretching over this left leg so we're going to inhale grow tall and then exhale slowly coming forward and again you may just come to this point here and you may need to have a little rest on the right leg and support yourself on the left that may be more than enough that is absolutely fine otherwise we're going to come all the way down and we just get a little bit more of a stretch here in that lower back as we just find our breath. And you'll feel this a little bit more as well in the hamstring here. Keep trying to flex that right foot towards uh, that left foot towards you. We'll take another deep breath. And then again, very slowly, very gradually, just starting to walk our way all the way back up. We're gonna bring that. Um, I keep moving that thing up on less and the right, so <laughs> bring that um, left foot back in. We're going to come then to the opposite side. Right foot is coming out. And again, we're going to first of all rotate the ankle, so heel on the floor or lifting, and then we're going to rotate the ankle round. So again, just getting those joints moving, maybe getting some cracks and crunches, that's all absolutely fine. And um, just creating that space. And then we're going to swap that direction, find that movement the other way. Again, rotating the ankle. Keep using that breath, always taking lovely deep breaths. And then slowly releasing that heel back down onto the floor. And again, we want to make sure we're flexing those right toes towards us. That left foot is flat on the floor. And then it's up to you where you come down to. So again, very slowly start to edge it forward. You may want to support yourself here again on the forearm, on the right and left leg. Or you may want to be able to start lowering yourself down all the way, coming to wherever you can. And finding our breath here, just sinking down. Just relaxing the neck. Feel 
Gonna go for another two breaths. And then very, very gradually, we'll just again start to walk ourselves all the way back up. No rush, coming back seated and bringing that right foot back in. Perfect, guys. So we're going to send ourselves back again into the depths of the chair, sinking ourselves back. So don't worry now if the feet are flat on the floor, that's fine. As long as you're comfy, sit however you need to. And we're just going to do a final little cat-cow. So we're going to exhale round forward, inhale lift. Exhale round, inhale lift, exhale round, inhale lift, one more exhale, and inhale. Coming back to centre, bringing the hands together in front of the heart. I'm just going to inhale, push the hands up towards the sky, and exhale, wind those wrists all the way down. And then again, inhaling and exhaling. I'm going to take that once more. Inhale and exhale. Bringing that left hand onto the left thigh. Inhale, stretching up with the right arm. Exhale, leading it over, taking a breath. And then inhale, coming all the way back up, releasing that hand back down. And then opposite side, inhale, reaching up with our left hand. And then again, stretching on over. Breathing here. Inhale again, lift all the way back up. We're going to take a final twist. So just twisting round towards the right. This time we're going to keep both hands on the thigh or on the armrest and take a little twist. Inhale, coming back to centre. Exhale, twisting round to the opposite side. And again, lovely deep breaths. Inhale, coming all the way back. Releasing ourselves down, settling in. Breathing into the belly, into the ribs, into the chest. Close the eyes, we can lower the gaze to the floor. The choice here is completely yours. So we're just breathing through the nose, breathing into the belly, into the ribs, into the chest, softening the body down. Again, giving ourselves permission just to be soft, to be still. As we just check in again with how we're feeling. Is there any change in our mood, in our mindset? Are we about the same? There's nothing really changed at all. Again, either are fine. We're just noticing where we are at, how we feel right now. And then Bringing your awareness to your body. Is there any change in your body, any similarity? Does your spine feel a little bit more mobile? Does it feel worse? Does it feel better? Does your body feel better? Does it feel the same? Again, just noticing wherever you're at, knowing that any of the options are fine. Keep following the breath, those really lovely deep inhales and exhales here. And then very gradually, we're just going to begin to soften the toes, the soles of the feet, the tops of the feet, and the ankles. Softening the calves, the shins, the knees, the thighs the buttocks and the hips. Softening the belly, 
the lower back, the upper back, the chest. Softening the shoulders, the tops of the arms, the elbows, forearms, the wrists, the palms, the fingers, the thumbs. Softening the throat the jaw, the mouth, the tongue, softening the cheeks, the nose, the eyes, the eyebrows and the forehead. very very slowly, no rush, starting to bring a little movement back to the body, beginning to wiggle the fingers, wiggle the toes, starting to flex the ankles and flex the wrists. On your next inhale, Take a stretch up overhead, stretch the hands up overhead, feel free to stretch the legs. Exhale, let it all go. And then again, inhale, stretching it all out. Exhale, release. Once more, inhale, stretch. Exhale, soften. Keeping the eyes closed or the gaze lowered. We'll just begin to take three deep sighs. So inhale through the nose. Sigh it all out. And again. Once more. Bringing the hands together in front of the heart in a prayer position. Beginning to rub those hands together. Just generating a lovely bit of heat here. And then placing those palms over the closed eyes. And taking a deep breath into the eyes, into the palms. Massaging the eyes gently. Opening the eyes behind the palms, rotating the eyes clockwise and anti-clockwise. Releasing the hands back down to heart centre, taking another deep breath. Namaste everyone. <sighs> Lovely guys. Um, well, as always, I hope that's left you feeling maybe a little bit calmer. Hopefully your spine, your back feels a little bit better as well. Um, as always, if there's any questions, then don't hesitate to get in touch. Um, I'm more than happy trying to help out as best I can. Um, 
but yeah, keep moving, keep those joints moving, keep the spine moving. It's all just gonna be for the best in the long run. Um, and even the most gentle and small movements, even if it's just for like five or so minutes, make a huge world of difference. Um, so just, yeah, keep going. And thank you as always for showing up and taking part in this class with me. I think that's it. Um, I hope you all have a lovely rest of your day, evening, week, weekend, wherever it is you're at at the moment um, within your week. Um, and yeah, um, hopefully see you all soon. Bye everyone.